conversations about what the Bible says. You live your life in the way that you interpret the Bible. Again, I don't care. But you don't get to take the Bible and tell me, well, the Bible says this in this chapter and this verse. I don't care. I don't care. I don't believe in it. Okay, so I know that there are a lot of people that are wondering why it seems like believers in God are always trying to like tell other people about it. It's like, why not just keep it to yourself, right? I've gotten that a lot since I started doing these videos. It's like trying to... We get it. You believe in God. If you believe, just believe. And then, like, you don't have to make others believe, too. But I think there's a little bit of confusion. And I am going to hopefully clear it up for you today as to why I do it and why I make these videos. This analogy that I'm going to use today is one that my dad told myself and my family a long time ago. And it always stuck with me. Okay, so we're going to call it... Michael McLean's snake in the yard analogy, okay? So say we're best friends. You come over to my house and we chilling, right? We watching movies, we listening to music, and I got like art stuff spread out, so we drawing and painting and stuff. And then I remember, oh shoot, I forgot to take my dog out. Just stay here, let me take him in the backyard, I'll be right back. You're like, okay, cool, I leave you in the room painting. I take my dog downstairs and I unlock the door. I'm like, come on, Cujo. And right when I'm walking out, what do I see? I see a snake in the yard. So I grab my dog, rush back inside, close, lock the door. And then I go back upstairs to my room where I left you. I see that you've gotten up and you're about to leave the room. And I'm like, wait, where are you going? And you're like, oh, I just, I wanted to go to the backyard too, get some fresh air from these paint fumes. And I said, okay, I'll see you when you get back. So you go downstairs, you open the door, you head out there to get some fresh air and oh, a snake bites you. So you throw it off of you and you run back in the house and you close the door and you lock it. You run back upstairs to my room and you starting to limp at this point. Your leg is hurting and you're like, China, China, I just got bit. There's a snake in the yard. And I say, oh yeah, I know. I saw it when I was going to take my dog out. What would your next statement be? China, why didn't you tell me? You saw me heading in that direction. I told you I was going in the backyard. Why didn't you tell me there was a snake back there? And I said, I don't know. I, I wasn't trying to force what I knew on you. So I just thought that you should learn for yourself as we all should, you know? Cause I love you. So I was trying to give you that freedom. Does that make any sense? You wouldn't think that I actually loved you. If I knew there was a snake in the yard, you told me, Oh, I'm about to go to the backyard. And I just let you wander on back there without warning you of the danger. Now, if you told me, Oh, I'm going to the backyard to get some air. And I said, Oh, no, 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 no. don't go back there. I just saw a snake back there. Would giving you that information be forcing something down your throat? forcing my beliefs on you no it's showing you that i love you and i care about what happens to you i do videos talking about god to warn you about the snake in the yard that's the point i was headed in the backyard by the grace of god i got away from the snake before it bit me now i see others heading towards the backyard i know there's a snake back there and so i'm just warning you and letting you know yo there is danger in that direction and now you have a choice to make. It's as simple as that. You can either choose to be like, oh, heard you. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back <laughs> the way I came. Or you're going to choose to be like, China, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm going to go back there anyway. Excuse me. Now notice nowhere in my analogy or Michael McLean's analogy, did I say, that I was going to force you in the room and I was going to forcefully keep you from going in the backyard. That would be forcing something down your throat. I never said that. You your own person. You got free will. If you want to go in the backyard after I've told you that there's a snake back there, do your thing. You can go. You got to make your own decisions. But just warning you of the dangers. See, because I've been through certain things in my life, especially in the industry that I work in. So I know that God is real. And people can tell you all day, well, you don't know that. You don't know God is real. That's a belief. You don't know what I know. Only I do. 
if I ask you what your favorite color is and you say, oh, it's blue. And I'm like, you don't know that. <laughs> Does that make sense? No, because only you know your experiences in life. Only you know what you know, just like me. So I don't believe that God is real. I know God is real at this point, whether people believe that or not. That's the truth. Either way, I'm not going to force you to do nothing. Whatever decisions you make in your life ain't none of my business. They got nothing to do with me. But if I didn't tell you about the danger, I would not be showing you love. 